Good evening, folks, and we are live from Athol Springs on this beautiful Friday night in Buffalo as Timon goes on the road to take on the St. Francis Red Raiders. My name is Sean Glinsky going solo tonight alongside Nikki Threads on camera, and we are crammed in for this one. It is a packed full house tonight, folks, as this one should be a good one. Both teams two and two in Monsignor Martin play. And we are just a little bit over uh, three minutes left in warm-ups. But other than that, uh, as soon as warm-ups are done, we will have our national anthem. And we will be underway when we get back. Welcome back as there is 120 remaining in warm-ups. And so far, both teams have been looking good in warm-ups. Um, Tigers, more or less so, just worrying about the fundamentals, you know, getting those easy two points. However, I've been seeing a lot more shooting on St. Francis's side. Uh, couldn't tell you if there are makes or misses, but I have been seeing a lot more shooting. So maybe that's something that Tigers got to keep an eye on, as it is probably going to be a heavy shooting night. And once again, we are very packed in here tonight and this should be a good one and the Tigers are getting pumped up both squads getting pumped up and we should be getting to go here and we have center court here tonight Western North Athletics are here tonight um, a lot of people important in this basketball world are here tonight and it looks like player intros will hold until the national anthem per usual but for now we will rise for the playing of the national anthem
time in student section. A little pitchy on that one, but per usual, as always, a good playing in the national anthem. And there's one thing I would like to might or would like to add is that both student sections are here tonight. As said all week on the Mary's cast, on every one of the cast, uh, it's going to be a rivalry night, and nothing like Friday night for rivalry night. And timing getting introduced first. It is going to be the guard pair of Harrison and Humphrey up top. Uh, the down low pair of Carlock and Parker. And topping things off, per usual, senior captain number 24, Kev Thompson. And now we are going to get the starting line for the Red Raiders for this one. And not too sure who those guys are. I mean, they have a lot of options to pick from. However, only very few seniors. And it's going to be number two, DJ Moore, starting it off for tonight. Number five, Sammy Mary, is going to be his co-star up there tonight. Uh, Darnell Dallas, wearing number 15 for the Red Raiders. He's going to get the start. Number 21, that's Logan Reska which Reska is a star key player for me tonight, looking at the stat sheets this morning. And then topping it off is the big man down low, number 34, senior Brandon Reed. So it's going to be Reed, Dallas, Reska, Mary, and Moore starting it off for the Red Raiders tonight. And actually three out of those five starters were on my star sheet today. Um, like I said before this morning, looking over stats, looking over the roster, and Mary, Reska, and Reed all are my three top three star players tonight for St. Francis that we have to look out. So we are set here in Athol Springs. This one's very pumped up, very hyped up, and this should be a good one as we've been saying. And it looks like both uh, both officials are ready. We're going to get one bouncing up. And that will be the start of the game. So here we go. White, Red Raiders, Black, Time and Tigers. And the tip is underway. And Reed receives the opening off. And we are underway here in Athol Springs. And that's going to be more. Screen by Reed. Picked off by Harrison. Harrison keeps it in. No, he doesn't. Good play by Harrison, though. As he read that one like a book. It will be Dallas on the sidelines here. Reska going to show up with the high screen probably on Moore. And a little confusion at the scores table. And here's Moore, guarded by Parker. Different look, usually Humphrey taking the man up top. And there's Dallas at the top. He's going to be looking around. Dallas finds Mary. That's Reska. Reska swings the ball over to Moore. Moore driving. That's no good. Rebound. Carlock. Harrison pushes the ball up to Parker. Parker driving baseline. Left hand. Pulls it out to Thompson. Thompson finds Harrison. Harrison long range three. No good. Mary rebound. Mary pushing the ball up here. He finds Reed. Reed finds Moore. Moore to back to Reed. Reed driving. Picked off by Humphrey. Humphrey is going to take it for the easy deuce. Yes, indeed. So Humphrey knocking in the first bucket tonight. And there's Dallas. Dallas looking around. Screen by Reed. Drawing the double team. Reed having a tough time control it, but regains it. Mary, spin move. Almost a step back three. Didn't like it. Mid-range shot. That's no good. Rebound. Carlock, no. Loose ball. Everybody on the floor. Parker's going to pick this one up. Parker now pushing things up. He's going to draw the double team by Marion Moore in the corner. He kicks it over to Carlock. Carlock to Thompson. Thompson, jab. Three ball. No good. So two, two threes right now that have gone along. Reska taken to the hoop, and that's good. Logan Reska again. The Red Raiders' first two points tonight. And Humphrey going to swing it over to Harrison. Not so good spacing right now. 
for the Tigers. Really looking this one around. There's Humphrey. Humphrey is going to give it back to Harrison. Harrison to Carlock. There's Thompson underneath. Dallas on the ground. Humphrey. And it looks to be Red Raiders basketball. And tied up two to two, five forty left. Mary swore, er, yeah, that was assisted by Mary. But I do believe Ruska got that one. Thompson pushing the ball up. Thompson in the in the corner. There's Humphrey at the top. Humphrey to Parker. Parker. There's Harrison. Back to Parker. Parker really needs to find somebody, and he does. There's Humphrey. Parker taking a contested three. No good. Right now, zero for three on shots. Tigers having a tough time from the perimeter. Swinging the ball around. That's Mary. Tipped by Parker. Parker's going to regain this one. Parker looks to be going coast to coast. Use right hand. Fade away. No good. Can't get a bucket right now. Four to two. Raiders lead. High bouncing in. That's six to two. Red Raiders. And here's Parker now. Parker going to survey the floor to Humphrey. Humphrey on the logo waiting for a play call. There's Harrison on the wing. Back to Humphrey. There's Harrison. Long range three. No good. 0 for 4 on threes. Right now really forcing that three ball. Reed covered by Carlock. Looking around. There's Reska inside. Reska almost got poked free. There's Dallas driving. Dallas Kicks over to Mary. Mary driving baseline. Draws a foul and will be going to the line for the one. A quick 8-2 to two lead for the Red Raiders with 4.09 left. And that shot's good. It is now a 9-2 Red Raiders lead. Timon right now cannot find their offense. There's Carlock. Carlock going to pull it back out to Humphrey. Parker back to Humphrey. Tiger swinging the ball around. There's Parker in the corner. Can't get it. And it will be Red Raiders basketball. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Really, really got to settle in for these Tigers. I mean, not a lot is happening for them. I mean, the quick turnover bucket for Humphrey. But other than that, that's been about it for the scoring aspect. So, however, Red Raiders. Red Raiders have been doing a tremendously good job on the interior half. I mean, Reska already has four points. And, I mean, Mary Moore just doing a great job driving the baseline and kicking out. So I do believe that's what's giving uh, St. Francis their lead right now. And the inbound here by Dallas. Two more. So more. Get it poked free by Humphrey. Humphrey driving to the net. Humphrey up and under. Oh, sweet finish. Jacob Humphrey. And there's Mary driving. That's good. Sammy Mary taking it coast to coast. Right now, a little pressure shown by the Red Raiders here. There's Thompson. Thompson looking around to Humphrey. Humphrey with their only points tonight for the Tigers. Thompson inside. Thompson drawing the foul. So that's number two. CJ Moore, the senior point guard, going to pick up his first of the game. A 11 to 4 game. Red Raiders up top. 314 left. And there's Thompson in the corner. To Parker. Parker finds Harrison. And Sammy Mary picking up a foul. Thank you. 
So back underneath after drawing a consecutive foul are the Tigers. There's Thompson right away. Thompson drawing the jump ball, and it will remain time in basketball. So let's do it over for a third time. Let's see what happens. There's Harrison, mid-range shot. That's in. A 11-6 game now. Three minutes left. And off the Red Raiders' knee, sending it down. Timon's basketball. And it looks like Coach Brian Ferris is going to send in some reinforcements as number three, Marcus Harrison, checks in for 15 Dallas. So now we got a three-man big look for the Red Raiders as Reska, Harrison, and Reed are all in. There's Harrison. To Humphrey. Humphrey finds Thompson. Thompson, free throw line jump shot, no good. I mean, maybe Coach Brian Ferris is trying to uh, intimidate the Tigers on the inside half, both on the offensive and defensive side. That and also maybe push time to shoot the three ball more, which they're not doing so good right now. It's Harrison rebound, and Harrison will be going to the line. That's Marcus Harrison not Jaden Harrison. So both teams are having a Harrison tonight. Marcus Harrison is a sophomore 6'8", 295 center. And he'll be going to the line for this one, really focusing in on these. And that's good, or that's no good. Long off the rim, 11 to six, 217 left. Red Raiders on top. And it looks like Coach Ferris is going to make another substitution as number 11, Jeremiah Neely, is going to check into the game for Reska. So no longer that three big man kind of look. As Harrison, that's off. Carlock, off on Carlock. Carlock couldn't regain that one. So there's more. He finds Reed. Reed, shot. That's good. Brendan Reed knocking that one down. That's something that the Tigers might have to look out for. A big man who can shoot. That's what we saw with uh, Moretti last game for St. Mary's. Thompson pulls it out. There's Humphrey. 14-6 game. Just under two minutes to play. Thompson thought about a three. Decides to drive. Floater. No good. Rebound. Will be Neely. Neely pushing it up here to Moore, or to Mary. Mary, spin move. And Humphrey. Humphrey dishes off to Thompson. Thompson, that's good. 14 to 8 game, 130 left in the first. Reed thought about a shot. Kicks it out to Moore. Moore, high arcing shot. No good. Carlock rebound. Humphrey pushes up to Parker. Parker slows things down. Parker will kick it back out to Humphrey. There's Thompson. Thompson. Mary heading towards the glass. That's good. Kevin Thompson gets it poked free, and Sammy Mary goes down and scores with it. 16 to 8 game. Minute remaining in the first. Harrison finds Parker. Parker, corner three. No good. Harrison, rebound. Harrison looking around. He gives it off to Neely. Neely to Moore. Moore. And long pass. No good for the Red Raiders. And check-in will be Reska. And then number 10, Benko will be coming in for the Red Raiders. 35 seconds left. And screened by Thompson. Neely covering Her Humphrey. Humphrey to Parker. And Parker steps out. Sixteen to eight. Twenty seven seconds left. There's Benko. Benko bringing it up on Humphrey. 
Benko loses it. Gets it back. And Humphrey pushed a little bit on him. A little dab up by Coach Rowe there, sharing everything's going to be okay. And 18 seconds left in this one. As Reska looks to inbound this one. And that's Reed. Reed looking around. Reed driving. Spin move. Fade away. No good. Humphrey rebound. 10 seconds left for the Tigers. Humphrey one on four. Humphrey to Harrison in the corner. Harrison plenty of time in the corner. That's good. 16-11. And that will be the final shot as as long for Benko. So it will be a 16-11. Red Raiders lead after the first quarter of play. And right now, Red Raiders just piecing apart this time in defense, finding great shots just about everywhere they took, while timing on the other half, forcing shots, it seemed like. Went 0 for 4, 0 for 5 to, from three-point land to start off the game. Not a terrific start. However, Harrison knocking that one down right before the quarter end. So we'll see what Timon wants to adjust here, along with... Um, Ferris, Coach Brian Ferris, to see what he wants to do. And as mentioned before, both student sections are here and loud. So we'll see what both teams want to do coming out of the break. And second quarter looks to start as Timon steps up onto the court first. And it looks like Moore will be taking the inbound here as Red Raiders get the ball to start off the first, or start off the second. And there's Dallas. Dallas guarded by Parker. Dallas is going to drive to the right. Dallas looking around. There's Mary. Mary kicks off to Reed. Reed jab back to Mary. Right now, Mary and Reed at the top of the paint just doing everything for the Red Raiders. There's more on the side. Double team. Humphrey. And it looks like this side official really is watching those lines as that is probably about the fourth or fifth call that's been close that he's called out. And there's Reed. Reed is going to find Dallas. Dallas guarded by Parker. Dallas to the side. Dallas driving baseline. Kicks over to Moore. Mary at the top. Mary driving. Left hand. No good. And Humphrey pushing the ball up here. Humphrey really trying to control things, and he does. And foul to be called on number two, C.J. Moore. Picking up a foul. And subbing in will be Neely for Moore, as Moore, I believe, already has two fouls. And Humphrey finds Harrison in the corner. Harrison will find Carlock. Carlock goes to the bucket and will be going to the line now as he really just kind of made sure to put that shot up right as he got whacked. And Rob Carlock, the junior, he averages six points a game, an outstanding 9.5 rebounds, and usually gets about 2.5 steals per game. And Carlock, off on the first, Rob Carlock, free throw percentage this year is something that we do not want to talk about. And that's, that's being the honest truth about it. But we'll see what he knocks down here. And he does. So he goes one for two, 50% to start off the game. 16 to 12, seven minutes left in the second. Red Raiders are up right now. There's Reska. And hand free, Harrison. Harrison to the net. And just lays it right in. 16-14. Dallas. Dallas with the right hand behind the back. Good contestion by Parker. And looking for the five-second call, but Coach Ferris will be 
Um, Con uh, timeout first. So 16 14, 639 left. Timon only down by two. Really good start out of the quarter break as Timon has found some good opportunities to score. Harrison getting that hand in the passing lane, pokes out, pokes one free and gets the transitional layup. And then also um, Carlock using his big body, drawing contact and going to the line. So those are just two quick, easy buckets that are easy for Timon. And it looks like Neely will inbound it here for the Red Raiders. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. 6.39 left in the game, or in left in the second quarter. As Dallas gets free, and Dallas calling out a play call. He hands it off to Neely. Neely finds Reska in the corner. That's Mary. Mary, a little bit of a push-off. Mary looking around. He finds Dallas is inside. Carlock gets it. Carlock hands it off to Parker. So that's Parker to Thompson. Thompson covered by Dallas. There's Humphrey to Parker. Parker to Thompson. There's Humphrey. Humphrey to Parker. Parker, long range three. Backboard and in. Timon taking their first lead of the game. 17-16 with six minutes to play in the second. Dallas to Mary. Back to Dallas. Dallas driving. Draws the foul. So Darnell Dallas, the senior, will be going to the line here. He averages five points a game, 3.8 rebounds, one assist, one steal, and about two turnovers. So Dallas, really a role player out there in this uh, pretty good squad that the Red Raiders show up with every night. 17-17. This shot goes long. Reed, rebound. Reed putting it back up. No foul. And I believe it will stay Red Raiders basketball. So inbound pass here to Dal from Dallas to Reed. There's Neely up top. Neely finds Reska inside. Reska out to Reed. Reed gets guys to jump. And no shot, but we'll pick up a foul as Carlock basically kicked him in the face. And it will be underneath for St. Francis again. A 17-up ball game. 537 left in the second. There's Reed. Reed, long range three. No good. And physical, physical contact. And Dallas will find Reed. Reed stuck in the corner. He finds Mary. Mary driving to Reska. Reska off the glass and in. And Staniszewski to Harrison. Staniszewski drawing the foul. That's Mary picking up his first. And Mary going to check out. So, once again, it's going to be a three-big-man lineup for Coach Ferris and the crew. And there's Harrison. A 2-3 zone for the Red Raiders. Harrison, free throw line, jump shot. No good. Reska, rebound. And Carlock picking up the foul as Reska was trying to bring up the ball there. As Reska inbounds to Dallas. Dallas will bring up the ball here. Dallas hands the ball off to Reed. Reed looking around, gives it up to Reska. Reska to the corner. There's more. 
Moore airballs it, and it will be Timon's basketball. And there's Harrison. Harrison screened by Carlock. There's Humphrey. Humphrey to Thompson. Three in the corner. No good. Carlock picks it up. Carlock to the net. Plumps. Fakes. No good. Really tough time finding a bucket for these Tigers. Dallas going to pull this one out. Covered by Staniszewski. A 2-3 zone for the Tigers right now. And Reska in the corner. He feeds inside to Harrison. Dallas driving. Floater. That's good. A 21-17 lead. Four minutes left in the second. Right now, timing can't really find a bucket. There's Staniszewski on the side. Staniszewski looking around. Gives it to Carlock. Carlock, Thompson, corner. Thompson driving baseline. Left hand. That's good. Going to the line, Kev Thompson. And Kev Thompson will be going to the line for the end one opportunity. And Thompson, that's good. 21-20. 3.38 left in the... And travel by the Red Raiders. 3.36 left in the second quarter. And it looks like Bianco. Bianco checking in for Neely. And there's Humphrey. Humphrey looking around. He finds Harrison in the corner. Harrison to Thompson. Thompson, murder range shot. No good. Carlock rebound. Gets it poked free, though. And in the corner, that's Reska. Reska is no good. Carlock rebound off to Harrison. Harrison. Dribble, dribble, drive. No good. Right now, Timon can't get a bucket. It's been a low scoring affair tonight. 21 to 20 with 305 left. And there's Reska. Reska off to Reed. Reed contested three. No good, Harrison rebound. And underneath, there's Reska. Reska in the corner. Reska's gonna drive baseline. Poke free by Humphrey. And there's Dallas picking it up. Dallas finds Reska in the corner. Reska driving off to Harrison and Timon's basketball. As Harrison has a tough time controlling that one. And timeout called by the Tigers. Looks like a full timeout. Maybe, yeah, full timeout. So what a game this has been. This has been very low scoring. And tough shots, tough misses by both sides. With 2.43 left, both teams one foul away from the other team to enter bonus. And we'll see what will happen after this break. As once again, I hope everybody's having a great Friday night. Thank you for joining us here on WTSJ for this rivalry night. And upcoming games consist of Monday night's game, which we are away again against Cardinal O'Hara. That will be a 6.30 tip. Uh, that will be next Monday, once again, at Cardinal O'Hara, 6.30 tip-off, 4 varsity, 5 for JV. And we'll see the Red Raiders. First one's back onto the court. And here we are as Timon gets back onto the court. It will be Timon's basketball 
But the opportunity on this drive to take the lead at his, as it is a 21-20 basketball game. Red Raiders are up. And Humphrey, screen by Hudson. He uses it. Humphrey to Staniszewski. Staniszewski, Thompson, no good. Harrison, put back, no good. Harrison regains it, though. Harrison pulls it back out. Staniszewski driving inside. No foul. As that was a good cut by Staniszewski. As there's Thompson inside. Thompson not drawing the foul either. However, it will remain Timon's basketball. So two no-call fouls. Officials not seeing anything. And however, it will remain Timon's basketball. 2.14 left. And Humphrey will take this one out. And there's Harrison. Harrison kicks it back out to Staniszewski. Staniszewski will give it to his guard, Humphrey. There's Carlock to Harrison. Harrison driving to Thompson. Thompson for the lead. Yes! 23-21. Kev Thompson puts the Tigers back on top with 150 left in the second. Dallas will give it off to Reska to Reed. Reed looking around. There's Bianco. Bianco off to Reed. Reska corner. Harrison underneath. Harrison puts it up. No good. Harrison back up. Gets fouled. Marcus Harrison is a big boy down there. And Marcus Harrison will be going to the line now for the Red Raiders, shooting two. And that's long. And Harrison will be going to the line for his second. As Rob Carlock checks out for Malachi Parker for the Tigers. Harrison, long again, kicks it back out to Harrison. Ruska, shot, that's good. Logan Ruska, 24-23 now as St. Francis is back on top. Harrison to Parker. Humphrey to Harrison. Harrison will be driving baseline. Reska covering. Parker, three. That's good, Malachi Parker. Putting the Tigers back on top, back and forth like a seesaw is this game. Minute remaining. Reska, another three. No good. Humphrey, rebound. Humphrey pushing the ball up here. Humphrey to Parker. Parker covered by Dallas. Back out to Humphrey to Parker. Parker thought about a shot, didn't like it. Screen by Thompson. Humphrey wraps around. Stat Staniszewski back to Humphrey. Harrison, 10 to shoot. Parker looking around to Humphrey. Humphrey to Harrison. Wide open look. No good. And that's out. Amazing play by Staniszewski to keep that one in Tigers possession. 20 seconds remaining as Neely will check in for the frustrated Marcus Harrison. 20 seconds. And that's Humphrey picking the ball up. 20 seconds, no shot clock. Tigers up by two. Humphrey calling for a screen. Doesn't get it. He gives it to Harrison, though. Thompson back to Humphrey. Inside is Harrison. Reed going to shoot up a shot. And travel, though, by Reed. It will be one, not even a second, a tenth of a second.
And that will be half as it is a 26-24 lead for the Tigers. So quick, so quick uh, start for the Red Raiders. However, cannot cap off a terrific first half in the second quarter. So it will be a 26-24 lead for the Tigers. This one should be a good one. Like I said early on, low scoring. But I am very excited to see what the second half will bring. And I'm sure as everyone is out there watching us. Um, so we'll be back after this quick halftime break.
And 30 seconds left until the start of the second quarter, or second half. And once again, it's been a good one. Uh, low scoring. Not a lot of shots falling for either side. However, Coach Rowe at the half did say keep shooting. Those shots will fall. And, I mean, we're taking a lot of uh, unnecessary slash dumb fouls. But hopefully this second half will look a little bit different, a little bit more scoring, a little bit more uh, knocking down shots. And we'll see how this one plays out as Red Raiders will begin the ball now shooting on the left and timing will be shooting now on the right. So Reska is going to inbound this one to Moore and we're underway here. And there's Reska to Dallas to Mary. Mary finds Reed. Reed's going to open it up with a three, and that's good. Brendan Reed knocking that one down. 27-26. There's Parker. Thought about a pass. There's Humphrey. There's Parker. Back to Humphrey. Harrison. Harrison screened by Thompson. Doesn't use it. Parker, corner three. That's good. Malachi Parker knocking that one down. Gives time and back to a two-point lead. And there's more to the net. No good. Reska couldn't save that one, so it'll go down four times basketball. And Humphrey driving to Harrison. Corner three, high arcing shot. No good. Reska rebound. He'll find Reed. Dallas driving underneath. That's good. And pushing up floor is Humphrey. There's Carlock. Carlock driving towards the net. Pop, skip, jump. Left hand. No good. 29-29 game. 6.36 left in the third quarter. And there's Mary. Mary driving. Drawing the foul. Threw a hip check at Parker. Parker's going to pick this one up. And inbound here. And there's Reed. Open look. That's good. Some mixed communication made Kev Thompson fall. And Reed takes the open look and cashes in on it. There's Thompson. Out back to Humphrey. Humphrey to Harrison. Time and swinging the ball around. Running a 2-3 zone again are the Red Raiders. Humphrey, floater shot, good. Thirty-two, thirty-one lead now for the Red Raiders. There's Dallas handed off the ball. Looking around, Mary's going to drive. Mary to the net, off the glass and in. 34-31, Red Raiders. Hot start off the half. There's Parker. Harrison. Parker back outside. Humphrey on the logo. Really looking for a play now. Parker, long range three. No good. Rebound, Thompson. Thompson's going to put this one up. Draws the foul. Kev Thompson will be going to the line now. Kev Thompson with the shot. And that's good. Thompson not letting the Red Raiders rattle, Red Raiders student section rattle, rattle him on that one. So Thompson lining up for the second of two. That's no good. 34-32 game now. And 
And Reed is going to look around. Finds more air balls that one. Way long, way left. So 5.05 left in the third quarter. Humphrey to Parker. Parker's going to get across half. And in the air, couldn't handle that one. Reska to the net. Reska will now be going to the line. And it looks like Staniszewski will be checking in for this one. My guess will be Parker. Reska for shot. That's in. And yeah, Staniszewski in for Parker. Reska. That's good. 36 32. Humphrey to Thompson. Back to Humphrey. He crosses half. Finds Thompson. Thompson to Harrison. Corner three. That's good. Jaden Harrison. 36-35. 4 left. Dallas. Contested three. Dallas knocking that one down. So you get a three, I'll get a three. There's Harrison. Harrison ripped through driving towards that right hand. That's good. 39-37. Back and forth for this one. Moore looking around to Reed. Reed to Dallas. Sends a pass over. There's Mary to Moore to Reed. Mary driving underneath. Reska. That's no good. Reska going back up. That's no good. Carlock picks it up. Humphrey going towards the net. He's going to kick this one out to Carlock. Carlock jabs, looks around, gives it to Harrison. Harrison say, slow it down, fellas. Staniszewski back to Thompson. Thompson thought about a three but didn't want it. Humphrey to Thompson. Harrison inside to Humphrey. Humphrey three. And drawing the foul. Jacob Humphrey, stone cold faced in situations like this. Just taking the lead now and will be going to the line for possibly a four-point play. Humphrey, that's no good. 40-39, 3.20 left in the third quarter. However, timing just taking the lead on Humphrey's shot. Dallas to Harrison. Harrison, no good. And not sure who the foul's on. And Carlock apparently drawing the foul. Not sure where that was. And it looks like Staniszewski is down on the ground. This looks to be a knee or ankle injury. I'm not too sure how that happened. I mean, I, I just got told he got ran over, so I'm not sure if he twisted it the wrong way or what happened. However, Staniszewski is talking to the trainer, so it's not like he's where he cannot like say anything where he's shocked. And Staniszewski's still down looking at the knee. And Staniszewski walking this one off. So Staniszewski, I do believe, will begin this one looked at. 
getting it checked out. As he keeps saying, he's okay, he's good. So this one back into play as Marcus Harrison drawing the foul and he'll be going to the line 4-2. Right now 0 for 4 on the free throws tonight. So Marcus Harrison going to the line. And misses on the first. And 3.06 left in the third quarter. Harrison going to the line for another one. Harrison, no good. 0 for 6 on free throws as Timon working in transition. Thompson, 3. That's good. Kevin Thompson knocking that one down. 43 39. Mary driving. Mary kicks it to Reed. Reed contested three. Reed knocks it back down. 43-42. Thompson to Harrison. Harrison, three of his own. No good. Marcus Harrison rebound. There's Dallas. Dallas picks up a travel. So Timon will begin the ball with 2.17 in the third remaining. There's Harrison on the side to Parker. Parker, Thompson inside. Parker, Petaway Scarver blocked. However, Harrison regains it, and that's good. Mary pushing the ball up here now. 45-42, three-point game. Reed thought about a shot, didn't like it. Reed gives off to Dallas. Dallas driving. Kicks it to Harrison. Harrison. And two Tigers are on the floor. Apparently no fouls. And guys are on the ground. So Harrison will be going to the line for the possible and one. And I don't know how that happened to have two guys on the floor for Timon. And somehow having a Red Raider at the line. And Jacob Humphrey will be checking out here. And big Alvin Mond, the first appearance for him tonight. Our first appearance for him on the whole season. I might like to add. Marcus Harrison to the line and connects on that. So Bienko will be going in for Harrison as those are as that was a big free throw to push it to a tie game with 145 left in the third. 45-45. Harrison will now be the point guard for Timon. Harrison for three. No good. Bienko comes down with it. Gives off to Dallas. To Riesca. Riesca. To Reed. Reed driving. To the net. Reed gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to Riesca. No good. Munn rebound. Munn. Pushes the ball up to Harrison. Harrison to Parker. Parker drawing baseline. Right hand. That's good. Dallas driving baseline himself. Kicks it off to Reska. And he stepped out. It will be Timon's basketball. Five, 58 seconds left in the third quarter. Happy, happy, happy. 
Harrison, screened by Munn. Harrison uses it. There's Munn inside. Munn drawing the foul. Munn will be going to the line for a possible and one. Alvin Munn, first appearance all year, and gets his first buckets in a matter of minutes. Munn to the line for the plus one opportunity. Munn, that's good. Fifty, forty-five. Neely in the corner. Neely bringing it out. Neely will find Reska. Reska to Dallas. Dallas screened by Reska. Dallas driving. That's no good. Rebound. Petaway Scarver. Petaway Scarver will find Harrison. No shot clock. Twenty-three seconds left. Thompson driving baseline himself. Up and under, no good. Mellon rebound, poked free by Bienko. 10 seconds left. Dallas driving. Neely, corner three. That's good. Five seconds left. Parker pushing the ball up. And no good. 50 to 48. It is a two point game to go into the fourth and final quarter. Wow, one of this, wow, what a, a game this has been. I mean, just in that quarter alone, both teams doubled their points. So no more for a low scoring game as is a 50-48 game. They have, Timon has five fouls, or Timon only has three fouls. St. Francis has five. So two more, and Timon will be in the bonus. And we'll see how that goes, as this one should be a good one to close out. Both student sections still here. Both student sections still loud. Once again, a very packed house on this Friday night in Athol Springs. as it will be Timon's basketball out of this break. And there's Harrison. He finds Parker to inside to Thompson. Thompson regains it. Thompson will find Harrison. Harrison, that's good for the mid-range. Mary driving, spin move, blocked by Thompson, blocked by Thompson, Mary, Moore, shot, no good, hits above, so Kevin Thompson picking up two blocks on one possession, Kevin Thompson is averaging 2.5 per game and picks up two on that possession alone. Kevin Thompson already looking like the D2 athlete that he soon will be. Inside, Thompson out to Harrison. Harrison jabs, shot, no good. Neely to Reska, Reska to Moore, Reed. That's no good. Neely rebound. Neely. That's no good. And looks like Mary will be going to the line. Shooting two. And for those of you who don't know, Kevin Thompson recently committed to Division II Duvo College. And that's what he'll be pursuing his both athletic and uh, academic career for the next few years. Uh, Kevin Thompson also entering tonight. 
226 points away to 1K. So still with a fair amount of games left, Kev Thompson is just under 226 points, not counting tonight. And that's a charge. So Kev Thompson went too close to the basket, and Resco was right there like a brick wall. And there's more, more. He'll find Reed, Neely, Mary. There's Reed, corner, more. Neely. Tigers basketball. As good hand placement gets Malachi Parker to bounce it off of Neely's knee. No pun intended. Corner, Thompson for three. That's good! 55-48. Tigers lead. Inside is Reska. Reska using his body. That's no good. Harrison, rebound. Harrison slowing things down. To Thompson. Thompson to the corner. Parker, three ball. No good. And Red Raiders basketball. And Reska couldn't handle that pass. It will be Tigers basketball. And timeout by St. Francis and Coach Brian Ferris as it will be a full timeout. Five forty-five left. Timon is in the one-on-one -one bonus with St. Francis already picking up seven fouls in this half alone. So this one is really becoming interesting. Fifty-five forty-eight. Timon is up right now. I mean, looking at the start, it was going to be a back-and-forth matchup. And it still technically is, even with a 55-48 um, timing right for timing right now. Inbound here, and pressure shown by the Red Raiders as Timon beats it, and Parker regains it to Humphrey. And that's Parker, Thompson, Harrison inside. Harrison will be dragging it back out. Humphrey to Harrison. Parker trying to swing the ball around. Parker will find Harrison back up. Eight seconds to shoot. Parker, three-point shot. That's good. Knocking that one down. And it is now a double-digit lead for the Tigers. 58-48 with 5.05 left. Moore to Dallas. Dallas, left-hand driving. Dallas, no good. Rebound, Harrison. And 2-3 zone for... The Red Raiders, Harrison, back to Humphrey, to Parker. Parker looking around. Thompson, corner three. Bang! I'll take another, sir. Sixty-one forty-eight. So it looks like 
That was Mary, Sammy Mary, out with the leg cramp, knee injury sort of thing. And Bianco will be checking in, shooting for Mary as Mary limped off the court, got up. I mean, he was holding like his hamstring knee area. And that's no good. Harrison rebound. Harrison pushes up to Humphrey. Humphrey, easy layup for two. 63-48. Moore to Reed. Reed, spin move to Moore. Moore. That's good. 63-51. Your time and Tigers are up with 4-11 left to go in the fourth. So 30-second timeout as it looks like Mary just limped back onto the court and into his huddle, and he'll be checking back in. I mean, honestly, what a trooper for doing that. I mean, he went down, he grabbed his, like, quad right away, and, I mean, he limped off the court, and I mean limped off the court. And for him to be back just like that is pretty crazy. I mean, even now, he's walking on with a little bit of a limp. That's number five, Sammy Mary. So 4-11 once again left in the fourth quarter. So Timon with a 12-point lead right now, 63-51. And pressure shown by the Red Raiders. That's Thompson. Thompson. Looking around, Thompson will give it to Humphrey. Humphrey calling out a play here to Carlock. Carlock looking around to Thompson. Humphrey to Parker. Parker thought about a shot, didn't like it. To Thompson. Thompson for three. That's short. However, Humphrey rebound. Humphrey kicking it out to Thompson. Thompson will take another attempt at it, and that's good. Kevin Thompson. Thunderstorm of threes right now. Reed driving. Kicks out to Moore. Moore. No good. Humphrey driving towards the net. And drawing the foul. as Humphrey went sliding into the uh, St. Francis student section. 66-31, 320 left. And Humphrey knocks down his first. And that's good. And picked off by Harrison. Harrison to Thompson. Thompson driving and gets it poked free. 68 51 with 303 left. And there's Dallas. Dallas bringing it up. Dallas, three. No good. Harrison rebound. Jaden Harrison doing a great job of rebounds this game. Harrison going coast to coast with it. 60. No, pardon me. 70-51. Time and leads with 2.30 left in the game. Dallas driving. Dallas, no good. Carlock rebound. Carlock looking around to Humphrey. Humphrey is going to push up court. And drawing the foul will be Moore. C.J. Moore drawing that one. Yeah. 
And it looks like Mary will be checking out and Dallas will be checking out. There's Carlock. Carlock looking around. Thompson, long range three. And the thunderstorm continues. There's a big green and red blob over St. Francis High School right now. And Kevin Thompson is the reason because of that. And foul, 73-51. And 159 left. And Reed doesn't connect on the first. 73-51 with 159 left. Bienko will be checking out. Resco will be checking out. So Bienko, uh, number 24, Rooney. Number 11, Neely. Number 22, Mohawk. And then topping it off will be number 34, Reed. That's the lineup for the Red Raiders. Timon still with their starting lineup out. Thompson to Parker, Parker to Carlock, Carlock to Humphrey, Humphrey driving, right hand, that's good, drawing the foul, going to the line for a three-point play possibility. And Reed checking out, Neely checking out, and it looks to be Staniszewski Checking in, Pedway Scarver checking in, Ramal Johnson checking in, then the big man, Ethan Wheeler, will be checking in. Humphrey to the line for the plus one, that's good. And checking in, number 54, big Ethan Wheeler. And for those of you who, do, who don't know, Ethan Wheeler went to St. Francis his freshman year, left, and he did not get a happy response from St. Francis when he left, especially when he said he was going to time. So air balls that one. And 76-52, 129 left in this game. And Red Raiders looking around. And that's a shot. No good. And foul. And the Red Raiders will be going to the line. That's going to be number 24, Rooney, going to the line. And he's off on the first. Radnicki and Diamond coming into the game. Staniszewski and Carlock checking out. Job well done by these Tigers. As it is now a 114 game. Or 114 minute left in the game. Wheeler is on the statue with a rebound. 110 left. Johnson bringing the ball up now. Bianco covering. Screen by Diamond. Johnson looking around with it. Screen by Wheeler. Johnson gets his pocket picked. To Rooney. That's number 23 in the corner. No good. Diamond rebound. Rodnicki going to bring this one up now. And 76-52. And 35 seconds left. 
for this one. Bienko, three ball, no good. Pewish cover, rebound. And that will be that. As I do believe Tigers look to dribble this one out. And timeout called by Coach Ru Coach Rowan, the crew. And 20.7 seconds left. 76-52. This one is pretty much like the student section is saying. This one is over. I mean, barrage of threes in the third and fourth corner really helped out the Tigers in this one. I mean, very close game at half. Very close game on the first half. But the second half had green and gold splattered all over it. So Johnson inbounding it. He'll give it off to Diamond. Diamond looks around. He'll find Wheeler. Wheeler dribbling it. And he carries it. And 11.9 left in the game. Coach Rowe calling for no fouls. And that's good. Five seconds left, three seconds left, two seconds left. And that's it from Athol Springs as Timon takes another one from St. Francis. 76-54. And that will be that. Uh, so from Athol Springs, everybody have a good night. And wow, what a win. 76-54. And that will be that from Athol Springs. For Sean Glinski, for Nikki Threads, we will see you Monday night at 630 against Cardinal O'Hara at Cardinal O'Hara. So everybody have a good weekend and go Bills.